So congratulations. John O'Neiller. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, there is no doubt that domestic violence is an absolute scourge on our society. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind that we need to do absolutely everything we can, firstly to eliminate it, to ensure that we don't have victims of domestic violence in New Zealand, but also that we as a society do everything that we can in the meantime to support victims of domestic violence. I think it's um, all too easy at times for those of us who have been fortunate enough to grow up in households where we've not experienced that um, and maybe have just been untouched by it and certainly we, we, we have things to be thankful for in that. But I think there's a, despite the fact that it's so prevalent in New Zealand, there are a whole lot of people in New Zealand who really don't understand the full ramifications uh, for victims of domestic violence. Yes, there are the physical scars, there are the emotional scars, but then often there are a whole lot of other practical things that have to be dealt with. For example, if you need to shift house because you're the one that has to move out, you don't just do that um, in your spare time after work necessarily. Uh, those, those things take time. If you need to visit your children's school to explain to the principal or to their teachers about what's going on uh, to be able to help them manage their way through it, you don't just do that in your spare time after work. If you need to um, even change schools or go to appointments or otherwise, there are a really wide ramification of a whole lot of other practical things that victims of domestic violence uh, have to endure on top of the abuse itself. And so, Mr Speaker, it is important that we have um, within our employment structure uh, the opportunity for those people to be able to have the flexibility uh, to do some of those things. Now, in an ideal world, we would not be here this evening having this discussion, because as in, an, in an ideal world, there wouldn't be any domestic violence. And also, in an ideal world, even if there was domestic violence, um, all employers would be understanding enough to be flexible enough to ensure that this would happen anyway. And there are, as has been said this evening already, uh, many good employers out there who are already doing that. But sadly, Mr Speaker, we don't live in an ideal world, and so we do need to ensure that there is some uh, systems and some mechanisms in place to ensure that our victims of domestic violence in New Zealand are getting every amount of support that they can get. Now, I have to say, when I initially saw and heard of this legislation, um, I could see how for a large employer this would be relatively easy to implement and thought actually, um, you know, when I first heard the idea of 10 extra days off per year for a small employer, how that might be difficult. Uh, and so, Mr Speaker, there will be some things, I'm sure, as this goes through the committee stage that may lead a little bit of nuancing for us to be able to figure out how we can uh, ensure that those people are supported, while at the same time ensuring that um, the uh, employers, and particularly smaller employers who are struggling, aren't unnecessarily affected by that. I think, Mr Speaker, ultimately we'll be in a position where, through what we do in this House, we send a very clear message to employers so that actually an employee perhaps never has to invoke this clause, because they'll be able to have the kind of relationship with their employer where they can actually go and talk to them about what's going on and their employer will respond. But there obviously needs to be a backup for them if they have an uncooperative employer. Mr Speaker, I just also want to acknowledge the delegation of people who I ca had come through my office door in Palmerston North um, a, a couple of weeks ago from the local representatives from the National Council of Women who came to me and said, Jono, we'd really, really like you to support this bill um, at least to the first reading stage to ensure that this very, very important conversation gets on the table in Parliament and is debated so we can work through all those different um, sort of nuances as I, as I referred to before to ensure that we get the very best legislation we can. Mr Speaker, um, I'm really happy to support this, at least at this stage, to ensure that we have that very positive discussion. Because Mr Speaker, as I said when I opened this speech, it is clearly incredibly important 
that we not only eliminate domestic violence from our communities, but we do everything that we can to support the victims of it. And I commend this bill to the House. Sue Maroney.